Hey guys, it's Clara, and I haven't really made a video in forever. I've kind of been really busy lately with college applications, and just a lot of stuff's been going on, which really isn't an excuse, but I'm glad to be back behind the camera. I was kind of <laughs> considering just kind of giving it up for a while, and then I realized I enjoy doing it. Why would I stop? So, anyways, I haven't really had a talking face-to-face -face kind of video recently, so I thought I would do a what's on my iPhone. But first, I think we should acknowledge the beautiful, beautiful home screen that has the gorgeous Ezra Koenig on it. Who I think we make a good couple. What do you guys think? Comment below. Uh, he is uh, the lead singer of Vampire Weekend, and I saw him over the weekend, and it was probably the best concert I've been to, which is saying something because I've been to a lot of amazing concerts. So, my phone is literally one of the most unorganized things you'll ever see. A lot of people on YouTube, they like really nicely organize it. Me? No. So I'm just going to kind of hop in. Uh, so I only have two pages. I really don't do a lot of fun stuff on my phone. So if you guys are expecting really awesome apps, then, uh, I'm sorry. So, just have the, you know, phone, calendar, camera photos, all that fun stuff. Uh, I have the Weather Channel app, which I love. I like to, um, uh, use this one over the one that comes with the phone because I think it does a better job and I like what it shows me. Um, oh, I guess you can, I kind of have a bunch of different places on there because I always like to see temperatures of warm places because it makes me happy yeah. and um under music I definitely just mainly use my iTunes and listen to all my music from there but sometimes I'll use the iTunes radio which is new to iOS 7 if you didn't know that but otherwise I use um songs out which has really cool playlists and basically lets you pick a playlist based on um your mood so I always think that's super cool. So, for example, a little loud. <laughs> for example, it says it's Monday evening. Play music for driving, working out, brand new music, college life, cooking, and unwinding. Unwinding. So I'd usually pick something like unwinding. Uh, then it gives you certain categories within that category. So mellow indie, new age. Um, Atmospheric indie, nostalgic film scores, stylish and eclectic mix, folk and folk rock. I'd probably do mellow indie. And then it gives you another little subset of playlists, which I think is cool. And I would probably do like a literate indie, indie makeout, or communion records. And it shows the artists in the corner. And the one up top actually has Vampire Weekend, so I'd probably click that because I love Vampire Weekend. And music would start playing. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, and it does have ads, but you can pay to have those taken away. Then another cool one that I use sometimes, not as much as Songza, is just called 8Tracks, and I'm not logged in. <laughs> as always, I did not come prepared. So basically how this one works is it's got a bunch of different playlists that people have actually made. Um, you can search, so like chill, study, indie rock, I study, I want to study. Then from there you can go through all of these different playlists that people have made, which I think is really cool, and I've been really loving the 1975 recently, so I'd probably click that playlist. And then of course I list I have Shazam because I always, I'm not even kidding, when I am out and about, a song will come on that I just fall in love with, and I have to Shazam it, otherwise I'll forget it, so, and that just tells you what the song is. Um, I have Whitegram, which if you don't know, it's just good for pictures that aren't the perfect, you know, square for Instagram, because then on Instagram it'll zoom it in and it just doesn't look good. Um, so this is really cool. I can just kind of, um, let me just find a random picture, like add a picture, and then it automatically has the white on the side, so it fits perfectly in Instagram it's as pick stitch, is, uh, which kind of lets you mold your pictures together. Pick play post, which is pretty cool. You can you can mix, like, video and pictures. In this case, I just mix, mi mix pictures from a football game. Instagram, where you can put a bunch of pictures together, like a collage, and then add music to the background. 
Um, so I'll show you one that I have from that. And that's super cool because you can add music to like pictures and it's basically kind of like making your own short little video. And then my absolute favorite um, app, it's either 99 cents or $1.99. And I hate purchasing apps. Like I seriously think it's a waste of time. This is one I'd actually recommend you uh, pick a picture. Um, me and Ezra, for instance. <laughs> um, and then you can go through, change contrast, brightness, all that kind of stuff. Then it gives you literally probably uh, like 50 filters you can go through. You can crop it. You can add like cool light designs if you wanted to. And it's literally um, so cool. Like if you guys are into kind of the cool Polaroid kind of pictures, you can get that look um, with Afterlight or Chic Modern. You can really like mold the pictures to look how you want them. Then, of course, I have Vine, which I seriously just watch people's Vines. That's all I do. Occasionally I'll upload one. I have the typical Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Um, if you guys are interested in following me on Instagram, comment below or like this video or something and maybe I'll give you guys that. Um, I Snapchat uh, probably more than I should and here we can we can take a, a awkward selfie together. Ah! Power School app, which is how I check my grades, which I'm on it way too often. Quizlet, which is great for studying. If you guys want to, you can kind of, you just type in the thing you're interested in studying or like the subject and flashcards will come up that people have created. You can even create your own, which I think is really cool. I have this stock thing because I'm in a game for my economics class. This app that I've been using uh, really, really frequently, probably the most out of all my like non-social media apps this past week. Um, or two and it's called why did I just it's called run keeper and I've been trying to run more because I don't play sport anymore and I'm trying to stay fit and athletic um, so it's kind of tracks my runs last week I did 8.1 miles the week before I think I did 14 so it kind of just logs it how many calories how far I'm going pace that kind of stuff and I highly recommend it if you're even remotely interested in running. I have Fandango, which talks about movies that are nearby. Compass, which I never use. Find my iPhone, which I don't use. I have a countdown where sometimes I'll put like dates of big events that I'm super pumped for. In this case, I'm pretty sure it's summer, which is seven months and eight days, 21 hours, 24 minutes. So a while's away. Uh, some apps I don't use like voice memos, videos, stocks, reminders, passbook, game center. I just, I never use them. Uh, I have a 15 puzzle, which is kind of fun um, if you want a little game. I used to have Candy Crush, but I ran out of space, and it was kind of taking over my life, so it's probably good that I got rid of it. Um, my Arvest bank thing so I can check my bank account. I have my Fitness Pal, which is basically a calorie counter, which I was using it, but then I kind of got a little too, I think, I want to say obsessed with um, then finally, I have my Tinder app, which is kind of super embarrassing. It's basically an app where people in your area um, have their profiles up and you can like them or not like them if you think they're unattractive or you don't find them interesting based on their profile, things like that. Um, and if they like you and you like them, then you can start a conversation if you want to. I don't really start conversations with people. I do it more just to kind of see who's in my area because I think it's kind of funny and I do it when I'm bored mostly. Um, so I don't really recommend the app, but I do use it on occasion. Um, and then finally I have this followers app plus, and again, if you guys are interested in uh, my Instagram, let me know. It talks about how many like average likes you get for per photo, how many photos per week, ghost followers, likes total, uh, things like that. Um, then what I think is great is you can see who is following you or who has unfollowed you. So I always think that's interesting um, to see who's unfollowed me. It's kind of depressing because you are like, really, you unfollowed me? Were my pictures that bad? So I really like this app just to see who unfollowed me. Not like it's a big deal and I hunt them down or anything, but it's kind of interesting to see who you thought was following who you who maybe isn't. Um, yeah, so that's my iPhone. It's not super exciting, but it works for me. Uh, comment below with new video suggestions. I have some ideas coming up. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.